Hey, what's going on, people? It's SGZ here from the Spartan Game Zone, and in this video, I'll be telling you why Amara is the best Vault Hunter in Borderlands 3 as we showcase the Siren and all her wee woo wee woo goodness. This rounds off the series, and if you haven't yet, make sure to check out what makes the other Vault Hunters great, too. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like, subscribe if you don't want to miss the next one, and let me know in the comments what your favourite thing about Borderlands 3's Siren is, and let's crack into it. Amara being a Siren has the most out of this world abilities out of all the Vault Hunters, using a wide array of attacks from phase cast to phase flare in order to bring your opponents down. She can warp the battlefield unlike anyone else, and is particularly adept at taking down crowds of enemies. She is a master of the elements, able to infuse her action skills with 4 out of 5 of them. She's able to maximise her damage against all of the health bars, with the potential to choose between shock, incendiary, corrosive and cryo, depending on where you spec your skills. It's not just her action skills that can be flavoured, but thanks to infusion, your weapons can be given some extra spice to add to the sweetener. Infusion converts a percentage of damage dealt to that of your action skill element, and you can adjust the amount simply by specking more or less, and it ranges between 8 and 40%. Elemental damage is always better than regular damage, and the fact that she can apply elemental power to non-elemental weapons simply through a skill is a big plus, especially for weapons that can never drop in an element. With her lifestyle through sustainment requiring an element to trigger, it's also a window directly into survivability. To help stay on your feet you can even grab Guardian Angel which will grant you a free automatic second wind once every couple of minutes. Speaking of survivability, Amara is the one Vault Hunter that can go all 12 rounds in the ring. Her extra arms serve to help, but there's no doubt she's the best boxer going around. Out of all of the Vault Hunters, Amara is the one to pick if you want to deal damage with your fists. With skills like Personal Space, which increases your damage up to 54% the closer you are to your enemies, and Find Your Center and Illuminated Fists, which increase melee damage by 100% and 75% respectively, with the latter converting it to your attuned element, Amara has the beginnings of some ferocious fists. With the Psycho Stabber in your hands, a Stinger in your pocket, and an Unleash the Dragon around your neck, you can deal some swift strikes to your opponents, which will knock them down quickly. If the Slice didn't kill them, the Afterburn will, as the Dragon is unleashed to wipe out the rest of that health bar. Add the Fish Slap to the mix, and you can offer your enemies some sushi for lunch, but don't be surprised if it's too much for them to handle. If you want a more hands off approach, but still deal damage as though it came from your hands, you can even try Phase Flare, Amara's Orb of Awakening. Hitting it with the melee attack will increase its damage based on the hit, giving it some Bruce Lee energy, and you can manipulate it during combat to target groups of enemies with a massive blast of area damage. It's another one of Amara's deadly siren abilities, and is capable of popping bosses like bubbles. Speaking of extreme levels of power, Amara can enhance melee damage weapons like the Face Puncher or Blade Fury like no one else can. With plenty of great skills in the purple tree to pick from, along with everything else on offer, these weapons become absolute behemoths in her hands. Their mobbing ability is almost second to none, and they don't shy away from boss fights either. Where Amara definitely doesn't shy away from is the mobbing arena, where ties that bind allow her to single handedly dominate any battlefield. Ties that bind takes phase grasp to the next level, linking all nearby enemies to the phase lock target, and spreading any damage you deal around to everyone. The damage scaling here is insane, and is made better when specced into indiscriminate, which doubles the amount of ricocheting rounds that trigger per shot. It's also a shortcut to instant boss kills, all you need to do is phase grasp an enemy close enough to your main target, shoot them and the link damage will comfortably take care of the rest. While someone is phase locked, Damara doesn't just deal more damage, but she causes more carnage too. 
You'll often see projectiles that you didn't even fire start spitting out at your enemies like you never knew they could. Multi projectile weapons will trigger that more often, and Tig's Boom in particular is one of my favourites if you really want to conjure up some mayhem. You'll summon Armageddon upon your enemies as meteors hurl out of the sky at all angles. A lot of weapons come alive while mobbing thanks to her abilities, and Remnant makes sure that any enemy's last breath will live on to destroy another. It procs whenever you kill a bad guy with your gun or action skill, summoning a homing orb which will seek out a nearby target and explode dealing skill damage in your attuned element. It scales insanely high and it gets any overkill damage as well, which is just crazy. Whenever you see this thing floating around, just know that whatever it touches is as good as dead. Sometimes you might think that you're not using your action skill as much as you'd like to, but with Avatar, you can trigger it once while it's on cooldown, which is perfect for enhancing her siren powers. It lends itself to a pure action skill focused build, which is another thing you can try on Amara. Both Avatar and especially Remnant are great, but there is one skill you might want to avoid. Heavy Rain increases splash damage which is good, and projectile speed which is sometimes good but sometimes bad. Essentially any weapons like the Unkempt Herald, Sorba or Layuda, which have unique projectile patterns where the bullet splits off into more at a certain distance, will happen a lot further down the line, which kind of make them unusable. However, it is very good for weapons with slow bullet travel time like the Torrent, which can be used to make it a whole lot better. It all depends on what you plan to use, but that's one skill that can go either way. If you think that only Zane has speed to burn, well think again, cause Amara has it too. Its Spiritual Driver class mod applies an elemental burn effect of her attuned element to her for a short while after you activate your action skill. That will then trigger mindfulness, making you faster, and the mod itself boosts gun damage the faster you move. The damage bonus sits at 20% of base walking speed, and 45% at base running speed, but you can max it out to 500% if you can run fast enough. It also pairs well with an elemental projector artifact, since the self burn will constantly trigger it, allowing you to make the most of the 129% bonus elemental damage at level 72. With everything running on all cylinders, you can deal some mega-rific damage, and it's a nice change of pace, literally. You can be Zane, but with spectral arms. When you add all this together, you'll understand that any enemy you face is just waves against the rocks. She has the classic Siren ability with much more to choose from. You can enhance them all with their own targeted anointments, or enhance your guns after you use them with phase cast and phase slam anointments offering 250% and 300% increased weapon damage after they're activated. You won't go a second without the elements being on your side and you can turn the tide in your favour thanks to ties that bind. She can make use of melee magic better than any wizard or witch in the west and grow stronger the more enemies you're facing. So that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it and learned why Amara is the best Vault Hunter in Borderlands 3. If you did, consider dropping a like or subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one.